All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. Uh, the name of the video is Undefeatable. Uh, Sonic Frontiers OST, original soundtrack, high quality. Let's check it out. Definitely high energy, I guess it's expected when it comes to uh, the game Sonic. I don't know if this is a movie or a, uh, a game, right? But let's lean towards the game at least. Uh, definitely high energy. Based off the pacing. Right. And it's dope, guys. <laughs> okay, hold on, let's go. No more pausing. I'll try not to. <laughs> okay, let's go. So much energy, guys. <laughs> really quickly guys I, I, pause here's the thing um i did i don't some, nothing in my head told me that uh something that was meant to most likely be a passive listen uh, mainly if it's on some type of original soundtrack then that means it's uh probably used in some random part of the game where you're only going to really get maybe at most 10 or 15 seconds of the song itself um, or it could be like a uh, like a menu music or, or something like that. It feels more like an introduction, or you just like you know I don't know like you're you're heading against the uh, the final boss of some very specific level, and you're just gonna hear like a small snippet of it. Um, and for the most part, it's gonna be passive listen. Honestly, nothing too in depth. But like listening to the overall complexity of the song, it's absolutely shocking how uh, you would make something this complex uh, for an OST. <laughs> like I don't know who I don't know who made the song because there's no real name it just says the uh, the name of the song is undefeatable uh, and it says it's coming from this very specific OST right but it feels like the the band should probably be named with how much energy and effort they put into it guys they worked extremely hard on this very specific piece of production when it comes to like the the screamo-esque sounding vocals that are happening in the background the overall the wild drum, <laughs> the drum combinations of that's happening here, guys, and then just everything else that's involved in it, guys. It feels like most likely it was done in like some type of multi-track recorder, obviously, but it feels like this is easily like a hundred. Uh, that may be a stretch, guys. Maybe like seventy to a hundred like actual tracks being recorded at the same time, put together uh, to create something this complex, guys. Uh, musically, it's phenomenal. Just, just fall in love with the the whole process behind it. It's crazy good, guys. Now we run out of time.
love that low cut. It's so complex. Oh, he's shredding, bro. He's shredding. <laughs> Right? Guys. Oh, that was exciting. <laughs> um, and it's funny because like you, you hear how it sounds, right? It sounds like a, a mixture of a couple of genres of like rock and and at times maybe like a maybe a rock based EDM type of sound also. Uh, but it feels mostly like punk. But not like the bad punk. Right? Some some punk doesn't sound very good lyrically. I think all punk sounds amazing. Let's just get let's just be honest for a second. I think if you sit and dig into the whole genre of punk, uh, it is absolutely something that I think everyone should probably get into. Specifically, if they're into like uh, like the English language, right? If that makes any sense. Uh, I think punk is genius in that very specific thing. Um, like a lot of what punk kind of represents is just you know. Um, fighting the power kind of right um but while delivering generally a message of kind of hope right and i think this song very specifically kind of does that uh it does absolutely um push the narrative of of being hopeful never giving up just understanding uh yeah you're you there could be some issues potentially but that doesn't mean that you yourself um do not have an in you to kind of push through that and be absolutely undefeatable Right. You're defeated for the moment, sure, but you're going to rise back up from the ashes, guys. Right? Um, like, I love the overall messaging of it, the sound of it. Guys, the level of complexity that, that was just thrown at us. Uh, <laughs> and, like, being luckily enough, right, I, I'm literally using, like, audiophile, um, like, monitor, like, studio monitor headphones just so I can actually hear the, the full range of complexity. And, guys, this is easily uh, one of the best-sounding songs that I've heard in a very long time in terms of overall complexity, guys. And the fact that this is meant to be a passive listen on a soundtrack is absolutely insane, all right? And whatever band or producer put this together... Congratulate them consistently because they obviously know what they're doing, bro. All right. Listen, let me know in the comments uh, what I should be listening to next, guys. And I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right. And uh, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.